It's one of the first and largest pieces of public art made by a Cuban artist to be introduced in the United States since diplomatic relations between Cuba and the U.S. were reinstated. Now, Genesis is being officially introduced to the Tanger Center by the artist. And the artist held a news conference today to explain her vision for the 74-foot piece that welcomes people into the Performing Arts Center. Fox 8's Rashida Kaba spoke to the artist today. She joins us. Rashida, I've seen this work of art, and it's just strikingly beautiful. Yeah, it certainly is. You can see spectators were all there at the Stephen Tanger Center earlier today. And if you've been to the Tanger Center in the past couple of months, you might have noticed this larger than life exhibit hanging from the lobby. That's it there. It's because of COVID that this was the first time my Belle Poblet was able to actually see her piece in person to put her final touches on it. Spectators say having this Cuban artist piece in Greensboro is leveling up the art scene that we already have. El nombre Genesis. The name is Genesis, and for me, Genesis is the origin of life. For Cuban artist Mabel Poblet, bringing interactive art to the masses is her life's work. Now, her piece titled Genesis permanently hangs from the main corridor at the Stephen Tanger Center for the Performing Arts. Estoy muy es mi obra de arte. It's very exciting for me. This is the first time I've had public arts in uh, such a big magnitude. Genesis is made up of reflective metallic and acrylic pieces attached to about 200 individual strands. Those materials representing the textile industry known to Greensboro. La idea un poco circular de la forma es aludiendo un poco a una forma sin fin, al infinito. While the circles represent infinity and the circle of life, the lights that reflect from above change colors with the seasons. I want the piece have this sensation about the, the spring, the summer, and the autumn, and the, uh, the time of uh, the, the cold weather in the life, no? And how this influences in our personality. It's a project six years in the making as Mabel worked on it back in Cuba. One of the biggest challenges she says she faced was not being able to be there for the installation process because of the pandemic. It was the first time that I was away from the installation, but uh, Cynthia Reeves and her team did a great job. For spectators, having Mabel's artwork at a prime destination in the heart of downtown Greensboro is reflective of the art scene evolving here. It highlights the fact that we have so many amazing local artists that it attracts international talent. Mabel's hope is that when you see Genesis, you truly connect to her vision. First, I want the spectator to feel like they're part of the artwork. And at the same time, I want them to see it as a way that a uh, union between the United States and Cuba and Latin America. It's truly even more beautiful in person. And the Phillips Foundation sponsored this installation and gifted some of the replicas of the piece to Greensboro Children's Museum. So you might see them hanging up there. Mabel is heading to New York for her next project. She says that she hopes to come back to Greensboro to enjoy a show at the Tanger Center one day.